Tua Tungavailoa should get the recognition of a spotlight, but with it comes the scrutiny of a magnifying glass. He is a famous local celebrity, so when the Miami Dolphins quarterback goes out to enjoy some events, the camera will pan toward him, and anything he might be doing is subject to review. The event I'm referring to most recently is his attendance at the Florida Panthers hockey game when they played the Washington Capitals. One local Miami Dolphins beat writer, who will remain nameless, was giving a play-by-play -play on social media of how celebrities were getting recognition from the crowd. He stated the applause was lower than others for Tua Tungavailoa. This particular beat writer has never shown a ringing endorsement of Tua Tungavailoa, but was probably just reporting on the scene at the game. If there is one thing divisive when it comes to Miami Dolphins fandom it is the quarterback. We have seen a fair amount of them come and go from when Dan Marino was playing. I wouldn't doubt if Marino himself drew the same divisiveness from some fans. It just seems like something that has been embedded into the Miami Dolphins from its inception. Getting back to the event at hand, the Florida Panthers won the game against the Washington Capitals 5-1. You could say Tua Tungavailoa brought some luck, and should attend every South Florida professional sports playoff game. Tua Tungavailoa looked to be enjoying himself at the game from the media coverage. He was there with some of his teammates for some bonding. Being young and impressionable, Tua looked to be enjoying some adult alcoholic beverages. Do we now have the next gate involving the Miami Dolphins quarterback? I can see the accusations now over his drinking and turning it into something it's not. The last gate we had was over playing golf on a game day, it was probably a night game where he wasn't even scheduled to start. Brian Flores liked to start the backup quarterback over him at times and that might have been the case. If I remember correctly, way back when, during the Dan Marino era I believe, there was a time when golf was being practiced right there on the field. It was either on a practice field or during some type of practice at the Miami Dolphins home stadium.